Hello, my name is Andrew Thur, and I'm going to chat a little bit about my role in developing the peace building within high risk communities in South Africa. I am part of Nelson Mandela University and I fall under the LXD cluster. Um, uh, those are a few of my colleagues, Mike Koshler and Elmine, and uh, we try as much as possible to empower our institution um, with digital fluency and the hybrid model of learning and teaching. My unit in particular, that's the e-technology training and support hub right there. And uh, we focus on staff empowerment through workshops um, and digital learning support um, via queries or consultations wherever possible. For the peace building in high risk communities in South Africa, what we used to go over this module in the social distance world were a couple of tools. I'm going to go through a list of those tools and towards the end I'll chat about our challenges and successes. From this slide we're going to look at Google Jamboard. Uh, that was our idea building tool. This is where we set up the framework for what you wanted to discuss and what you wanted to achieve as we develop this module. Um, from the images, you can tell we looked at a couple of different uh, resources um, and what we had access to and what would best fit our needs. Um, H5P, Rise in Articulate, that we'll chat a, bit, a little bit about that later on. Different videos, and uh, this was basically our ground floor in terms of interaction to see what we could get going in, in this platform. Sharing the screen right now, that is our learning management system. That is the Engage platform. Uh, our institutional learning platform is under Moodle. That's learning management system, excuse me. And we chose to use Engage because it is open to the public and we still have the ability, the ability to track data, which is essential for such modules. Um, you can see the first thing that we had to do in the space was set up a training um, ground for my colleagues, that's Gino, Earl, and Neil. Um, this is a training site just for us to get a hold of the content, understand how it works and what we can make use of and what we can't make use of based on the tools that are available to us. Um, it was a bit of a challenge just to ensure that we did understand the practical uses of uh, the Engage platform and um, once we got through that space and uh, with uh, the technical expertise and support that I have, it was a little bit easier to merge what we have on paper to what we can provide in the digital arena. Uh, the peace building module is sitting on the Engage platform, of course, because it's public. We are all enrolled as lecturers. Um, these are just the rights for the Engage platform. So we are able to edit the content on our own or on behalf of other participants. And at the moment, it's not complete but it will be soon, and this is just a glimpse of what it could look like. After much consideration, we chose RISE as a supporting tool um, for the content that we have in our Engage platform. We could have all the content there, but we wanted to look at RISE as an option. Um, this gives us some flexibility in what we can do inside our Moodle platform, sorry, our Engage platform, that's our learning management system there. Um, as you can see, RISE is available to participants on different platforms, be it your desktop, your laptop, or your phone, or your tablet. You can still engage with the content. On top of that, it gives you easy accessibility to your progress in the course. It can track your progress, how far you're going, um, how many units you've completed. And on top of that, we get to quiz or add knowledge checks to the platform as well. So if you need to find out um, how far they're on with the course and it's also the same for the participants so they might also want to find out how far they are with a particular course or section and uh, gauge themselves against that um, this data we would import into our learning management system that is engage and get even more data out of it so that was a tool we choose to use we chose microsoft teams as our default um, engagement platform and it was initially quite easy to use um, but have a, as participants from different institutions there were some challenges in terms of file sharing or access to recordings and whatnot so in the future we'll probably use something that's um, easily accessible to everyone probably google meet some open plan software as well 
but it did assist us in terms of uh, managing our chats, um, diarizing, and uh, having our calls online. Neil introduced us to Trello. Um, there's a screenshot over there. This really helped us in terms of uh, managing our workload, understanding where all the pieces fit, um, gathering updates as we go through the course, and um, really valuable learning tool on our part. In terms of our successes and challenges, quite a few to consider, but for the most part, I'll say our biggest success is uh, being able to build community. Um, it was a real asset getting to meet uh, Gino, getting to know Gino a little bit better, um, Earl and uh, Neil in terms of their expertise and understanding where they come, where they come from and how they can add to this project. Um, hurdles the same context as understanding where everybody lies in the space and how to get that content available on the digital learning and teaching platforms. Um, I think because the team that I was fortunate enough to work with were very relaxed, very open-minded, um, understanding and um, determined to get to the goal. So uh, that made our lives a lot easier. And of course, just coordinating tasks um, from afar. Um, having Trello, um, on that platform and the support of um, our team leader, Chino, <laughs> made our lives a lot easier. That's it for me. I'm very glad to be part of this project. Um, my name is Andrew Thur once again.